Hi everyone, so after spending more than one month and a half in Chiang Mai, yeah, I really love that city, I'm gonna present you the top 10 things to do there. First thing is to go to the market. There is tons of different markets in Chiang Mai and you will surely find one that you love. There is the Sunday night market where you can buy food, decoration, artists, clothes, light, almost everything. It's really big and really crowded. After you have the Wawarot market which is specialized in clothes. And then one of my favorite is the Marin market where you can find really good and cheap food. This is just in front of the Chiang Mai University so there is a lot of students that go there because it's cheap and good, already said it. The second thing I would say is the Grand Canyon. Well, it's not like the one in the US, but it's still fun to do. This is about 50 baht to get in. It's 40 minutes from Chiang Mai, a nice place. If you want to chill out, there's a lot of bar and stuff like that. You can dive in, swim, but I didn't like it that much because of the too much security, like you are not that free. It's more like going to a pool party. Yeah, Chiang Mai is a mountain city pretty much, on all around. So you have many river and waterfall. You can go to Maisa waterfall, it's 40 minutes from Chiang Mai. It's nice, you walk there, you can swim in some parts, take cool picture on cool shots with the waterfall. And after you have also the sticky waterfall who are really particular because it's just like a big river but all the way around. So you can climb it, people love it. Now we're gonna learn some stuff a little bit. For museum, there's a museum for the history of Chiang Mai. You get the art in paradise, which is pretty cool, and the Maya Museum, which is about modern art. But it's one hour from Chiang Mai, so it's already outside. Which leads us to the point five. What to do outside Chiang Mai? Yeah, because one of the strengths of Chiang Mai is there's tons of things to see around. There's those two crazy temples. Wang Kun, which is called the White Temple. It comes out nowhere and it looks like something from the god, or I don't know, all white. After you have Bandam, which is also called the Black House. And those guys who walk on those pieces of art are really crazy. It's not for vegan, trust me because everything is made with animals. So animal skins, animal bones, everything. But it's really nice to see. There is also Pai, which is really well known and touristy. It's near a river, pretty chill, but sometimes there is way too much tourists. So I prefer to go to Ban Mai Kampong. It's not known by the tourists, only Thai tourists. When I was there, I was the only wild guy, for sure. If you are interested, I will do a video about all those places around Chiang Mai that I've been there. I see, now it seems pretty much tiring. So after this, you can do a massage. Yes, you cannot say that you've been to Thailand if you didn't did a massage. It costs only 200 baht. It's nothing for an hour. You can get massage in the market. It will be cheap, but the quality will be so-so. So I advise you to go in massage places in the city. One of the symbols of Thailand and particularly Chiang Mai is the elephant. But do not ride them. You know that they have been slaves if you do this and it's really bad for them. So it's kind of hard to find good places to play with the elephants or to feed them. One of the places that most of the people advise me is the Elephant Natural Park. But you have to book pretty early in advance to be sure to have a place. Me, I've been to a place where I was on the road that was pretty bad. So I stayed there like just five minutes and went out. Outdoor activity in Chiang Mai is the main thing. You can do hiking, you can do walking, like going for the temple in the mountain, but you can do also rafting. It's also cheap. So if the weather is not that good, of course you can do indoors activities. First is yoga. There is many yoga studio in Chiang Mai and I think there will be more and more because the area is really cool to live. So I put you my favorite yoga studio where the yoga teacher were amazing there. And the second thing and the most popular is Muay Thai. Of course, if you are in Thailand, you have to experience Thai boxing. Me, I was going to a studio in the top of Maya Mall because they got promotion as they open. But don't worry, there's many Muay Thai studio in Chiang Mai. You can just take two or three classes to have some experience with it. 
it's pretty nice. To finish, well, yeah, Chiang Mai, the most particular things about it is the temples. I heard there is more than 300 temples if you take Chiang Mai and around Chiang Mai. Yeah, I know, it's pretty crazy. The most important temple that you have to do is Doi Sutep, Wat Phra and Wat Chi Di Luang. Wat Chi Di Luang is in the city, so you can find it easily and do like a loop with many temples in the city, walking in the old city and have fun. I give you a little bonus. If you are lucky and travel during the end of November, you will see the Yipeng festival. That's the festival where they light up all the paper lanterns and let them go in the sky. Me, I was really lucky because I arrived in Chiang Mai the day of the festival. And it's pretty crazy, for like three hours you see lanterns going in the sky, lantern boats on the water, so all Chiang Mai is lighting up and also there's some music. It's a really good, nice experience. You can see that now you are pretty lost with all this address and everything. Don't worry, I put you a link below. If you give me your email address, I send you the map with all my address and all my secrets. So you will know perfectly Chiang Mai and it's gonna be really easy for you to move around. Of course, don't forget to subscribe if you want to continue to travel me. I'm going to explore Kuala Lumpur soon, so yeah, you can give a thumbs up. If you have some question about Chiang Mai, don't hesitate to ask in comment, I'm here. And if you have some tips, yeah, share them. I see you next time. Ciao.